The last thing I want to talk about for syntax purposes is something that's called capturing uh, or it's uh, grouping and you'll see why it's given those those names we can use the same syntax uh, syntax to to mean both and the the syntax is that within a, a pattern we're going to use parentheses so let's say we did a plus <coughs> or b star and then we put in parentheses here followed by uh, c star or d plus and so you can see that the, the, the parentheses are changing what the, the order of precedence of our operators are. That we're grouping this alternation together and this uh, alternation together. And so that's why it's given the name of grouping. It, it, it changes pr precedence for us. Uh, but the other cool thing is that our regular expressions, when we have these capturing and grouping operators in here they do something really unique they return to us our matches not just whether or not it is true or false that the pattern matched properly but we also get what the matches were specifically we get what the matches were inside of our groups and so in this example here, we have one group right here, and we have a second group right here. And so in this group, we in this regular expression, it would return two values. Our first value would be what matched here, and our second value would be what matched here. And so if our input was something like b, 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 uh, c, then what would happen is the the what would be returned for the blue would be these four b's and what would be returned for the red is this c they would be connected with each other and this is really powerful because if you have something like this where you have multiple options available to you or if you're using character classes um, or the wildcard character or whatever the case may be where you don't exactly know what the match is and you need to figure out for portions of your pattern what belongs in different things what what is the area code for your telephone number what is the street address versus the the city and state what is the month the day and, and the year for a date and so forth these capture values to allow you to see what sub portions of the match were and you could also conceivably put a parenthesis around the whole thing to, to see actually what you matched because you might not know exactly what text you matched in in the first place uh, the one unfortunate thing is that these parentheses actually perform these two operations both capturing and grouping and so a modern uh, syntax that was added to regular expressions is to distinguish between capturing and grouping so that whenever you have parentheses in here in that case you you always mean capturing and you get grouping as a natural consequence because you want to group everything that's in this spot as well if you just want to do grouping where you're trying to change the order of precedence of the different operators inside of your regular expression then what you can do is you put a parenthesis and you put a question mark colon and then you you finish here and that is just grouping and so what you can see here is capturing is the more typical case and so it gets less characters Grouping only, I should have put capturing and grouping here. Grouping only is done with adding these two extra characters, the question mark and the colon here. And, and so these are, are very powerful characters 
that uh, uh, you use in almost every regular expression because the reality is if you knew what you were going to capture then you probably wouldn't need a regular expression but since we don't exactly know what we're capturing we don't know what uh, is going to match our pattern we need to capture those values and return them back to um, whatever code is using this regular expression so we know whether or not the pattern matches and what the matches inside of that pattern are so that we can then use those values the way we intend. Store them in a database, do a computation, uh, check that they're duplications or that no one else has um, done something else. Check if it's it's legal to in, in our representation of, of the data and so on and so forth. And, and, and so this capturing and grouping is essential to being able to figure out exactly what you did, how you did it, and and what you're going to do as a result of matching this regular expression. And so th this is the, the last little tiny piece of syntax that we're uh, going to, to cover that is standard across all regular, uh, modern regular expression engines.